Hey guys, welcome back to Cycle Fab. I'm Larry. In today's video, you'll be watching me make a mixing tube for a Harbor Freight powder coat gun. Uh, mixing tube that I make is this guy right here, okay? Here's a close up of it. The mixing tube that comes with it, you notice this has three holes in it. Well, they're all eighth inch in diameter. The mixing tube that comes with this unit only has a sixteenth of an inch hole, one of them. So you're not getting the cubic feet of air um, through your gun, so it's not really moving that much powder. I have other videos over this gun. Uh, if you want to check one out on me developing this part, uh, go ahead. There will be a link right up here. Also, I'll have links down below in the description area for these and the diffuser kits also, uh, both for the Eastwood and the Harbor Freight gun. Um, now, now, this is just for the Harbor Freight. The Eastwood's a totally different animal, and uh, I'll probably do a video over that. I have done many in the past. You can check out the links at the end of this video, and also, if you want to go down to the description area, I'll have some there also. So anyway, let's get on with this. Uh, basically what I'll start off with is just a half inch piece of stock aluminum. This is the same aluminum that I used to make the diffusers for the Eastwood and the Harbor Freight. I came up with an idea that, you know, I need to improve the flow through the Harbor Freight. And the only way to do that really was to improve the mixing tube itself. Now the mixing tube that comes with it just has one 16th inch hole as you can see here, uh, put the two next to each other. Here's a close up of them. And anyway, this just moves a lot more air. So you're moving a lot more powder out the end of your gun and it's hitting the diffuser, which I also sell. Link sure it'll be down in the description. It really does increase the powder conductivity to your port. In other words, it sticks better. The powder sticks to your port better. If you want to check out some videos over all the modifications that I do to these guns, uh, there'll be links at the end of this video. Just click on them as a playlist and you can pick out whichever one you want to watch. I'm just going to have a little montage, put some music behind it, and you guys can watch me make this. Like I said, I'll start out with a half inch piece of aluminum. Uh, I'll go through it really, real quick with you. I center drill it. Then I drill it with a 2164 drill. I drill just to the end of this. Obviously, you wouldn't want to drill all the way through. And then I go and turn the ODs down. Uh, part it off, go over to the mill, and that's where I do the holes. So anyway, sit back, listen to the music, and uh, check it out. If any of you guys want to make one of these uh, in your own shop, it's really easy to do. That's one reason why I'm making this video. If you just have a little bench top lathe, you can make one of these, okay? So it's entertainment to you guys. I get questions on, you know, how do you do stuff? And this is how I do it. So check it out.
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and watching another one of my videos. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember, hit the like button down below, subscribe to my channel, go ahead and hit that notification bell too so you know when my next videos are coming out. And I, I have been busy. <laughs> That's why you haven't seen me make a video in about three weeks. Uh, I've been making diffusers, really, and well, other stuff that I have going on in the shop too, and outside the shop, but you know, it's regular family stuff. And just everyday life is really going well. Uh, you guys have been amazing. I really appreciate you coming back. And then I thank all you new people who show up and subscribe and continue to watch my channel. Uh, thanks, guys, really. Now, remember, if you want to pick up one of the diffusers or anything that has to do with the Harbor Freight or the Eastwood powder coat gun that I make in this shop, please check out the description links down below or the links in the description down below and uh, I'll see you guys later.